What's up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Shining Resonance Reframe. Last time we left off, we just pretty much own Zed, so. <laughs> it wasn't much a challenge at all. If you think. I mean, I went I went off the uh, screen and trained a little bit and boost up even more levels. And I'll show you. If you think last episode was crazy, we're too OP, wait till I see this one. <laughs> Alright, so I have I bought new stuff for um I bought new um aspects. So Gina's is literally like I don't know, he's just literally like killing everything so easily. And um Yeah, pretty much it. Um let's see. So everybody is about fifty something. And um I actually got all mighty. Um I was farming. It took me a while, but I I was, and when I was when I got it, I was so excited. I was like, "Oh, finally!" It took me forever, and then I looked at it. All stat <laughs> increases all stats by five <sighs> percent. Are you serious? I mean, I can get one thing is even way better than <laughs> spending my time farming it. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> There's not much I can do, but Genus is too OP. Um, everybody else's it's the same. There are some level ups instead of 15%. I, I can boost up to 20%, which I spent all my money <laughs> for it. But I did farm and I got back a lot. So yeah, every everybody's uh, like you know getting there. They're pretty high levels. I'm not too worried, but I don't think I need to farm anymore because the dungeons became too easy. I mean. I don't even bother farming it, but you do get tons of XP for it. I don't. I don't have any special challenge left. I used up pretty much all of them. You can modify your uh, dungeon challenges, so that's what I did. So everybody is gonna be like, you know, amazing, powerful, and with good equipment. After so long of farming and playing around, so I pretty much get used to you know this game, like how this game works, how it, like most of the mechanic works. So yeah. And let's continue with the main story and wrap up this game, hopefully. I'm so hyped. Um, it's too bad we didn't come out of that with another world dragon soul in our pocket. But I'm glad we saved Sonya. Indeed. Okay. You've grown a great deal, Yuma. Huh? Well, where'd that come from? It's not like you to say things like that out of the blue. When you first met that girl, you despised the thought of invoking my power. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. Back then, I was terrified too. And now you make strides to use my blessing well. You have begun to understand the true way to wield my strength. And... You are not alone in your growth. The other dragon ears have grown alongside you as well. The songs they play are sweet to my ears and stir in my soul a longing for faraway times. Indulge me in a tale, Yuma. Long ago, before even Ragnarok, the children of man, elf, and dragonkind forged together a means of speech, the rune songs. From my own body, I wrought seven harmonic armaments and made gifts of them to the song's players, tokens of my favor, and so much more. Harmonics, as they came to be known, are potent tools. By wielding my flesh, you and your friends may channel dragon energy into forms. But the songs as you know them are mere echoes. An age has passed since man and dragon could truly hear one another's souls. No. It did please me to learn that some listeners yet endure. You mean, 
Diva's Magica. People like Kirika, right? Yes. And no. I commend her sisterhood for their devotion to my teachings, but those were the days of true masters, songsmiths without peer. Before, the song forms were free, fluid. Any melody born of strong enough emotion could be refined into a rune song, a heart song. I think I understand. Everyone used to have those powers. Why did we... Uh, stop? Deus cast a wide shadow, and supplicants gathered beneath in desperate hope of salvation. And so began an age of transgressions. Understand that dragon energy must be exchanged, given. Never taken, guided, never forced into shape. Deus cast aside these notions, and with staggering power brought the world to heal. Catastrophe followed. As in the catastrophe? What exactly happened? Quakes, wildfires, the deep places birthed great horrors. Geysers erupted afresh, filling the skies with ash and poison. Natural disasters fueled one another in a fearful cycle, threatening stone, soil, tree, and sky. In short, the world. And so we gathered, the dragons and their sworn champions, its last defenders against Deus. The war that ensued would come to be known in your tongue as Ragnarok. It was nothing like the heroic, glamorous wars of legend. The world we fought for came to ruin. Our champions, once so resolute, faltered and fell. And in a final twist of the knife, Deus' faithful seized an harmonic for themselves. With that, the Seven were split, and the last song lost to us. The world lay dying, its throat already cut. Without the last song, we had but one recourse. The five world dragons gathered at Deus' seat of power, and in a last act of defiance, we pooled our magic to forge a seal. It was all we could do in such dire straits. To merely reach Deus demanded more of us than any task before or since. In our fight with the Draco Machina, Guardians of Deus, we were injured, our power exhausted. What your people called the unapproachable tower was known in those days as the Ziggurat, and it was from within that Deus wrought catastrophe. It was also there that the world dragons made our stand, and there we gave of ourselves to seal both Deus and the tower beyond the flow of time. The other four world dragons poured the last of themselves into the seal and turned to crystal. Similar fates should have claimed me. The songs of the Dragon Ears whom I fought beside sustained me. My body was broken. My mind was quickly going the way of my siblings. Left with few choices, I... made the seal itself my vessel. I kept vigil over that seal we placed for untold years. I could not leave nor do anything but dwell on my sins. One day, however, a man arrived.
And that was Genus. Why did you possess him? The seal could not sustain my dragon energy forever. Not like a fleshly body. I convinced the man it was to our mutual benefit to cooperate, and we forged a pact. He accepted me into himself, but he was nothing like you. Given the choice, he would always decline the aid of others, preferring his own company exclusively. He too was removed from the flow of time by my power, even ceasing to age. I thought it a gift, but immortality only drove him deeper into isolation. Alas, there was a time when I thought he could change, but complications arose. Disastrous complications. <sighs> you, Yuma, are not him. You lack for pride, for strength as a warrior. But in their place, I see compassion. I hear the songs of your friends. Whatever bond we share, Yuma, it graces me with music, memories, and a shining light I thought lost to me forever. I wish for you to know all this. Because if nothing else, that makes me very, very happy. So that's the story. Oh my goodness. Interesting. So that's what happened. Whew. I didn't fall asleep. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just listening. I usually don't talk when they talk. But... Occasionally, not like that kind of story. I've been looking for you. Yeah. Hey, Sonia, did you need something? Yeah, I haven't thanked you properly for the rescue, right? So let me do that. Um, you don't need to. Yuma, thank you. Thank you for saving me. You really came through. Well, you're welcome. Oh. Huh? No, I... I'm still nothing compared to you. Untrue. You're really a part of this team now, you know? I'm starting to lose count of how many times you've helped the others. Helped me. At this rate, it's me who's gonna be relying on you more often, Yuma. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know about that. Huh? I mean, we're friends, aren't we? We got to where we are because we can lean on each other. It's not just us either. Everyone. Everyone's learning to trust each other. Support each other. Yeah, I guess you're right. In that case, Yuma, don't go anywhere, okay? You, me, the others. We're all on a path now. Let's find out where it leads. Together. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hey, Yuma, you want to see if there's any good food at the market today? Sure. I'll go for a walk with you. Sure. I'm feeling a little hungry myself. Miss Sonia! Yuma! What are you doing out here? I've been looking everywhere for you. Primula? What's wrong? We got a messenger from the castle. I think it's important. The king says you gotta come right now. Huh, okay, fine. I wonder what that's all about. Thanks, Primula. We'll head right over there. Come on, Yuma. Right. Very well, then. Let's go. Uh, I thought I could hang out with her. Apparently not. So, let's go check it out. Alright, see what's going on. Sonia, Yuma, I've been waiting. An Imperial Envoy just delivered this letter. 
bearing Princess Excella's signature. An Imperial Envoy? Uh, this is the part where I mentioned the Envoy was, uh, Beatrice. What? What does the message say? I'm still trying to process it myself. They want peace. An armistice. Huh? Peace? You mean ending the war? So it seems. Listen, and I'll read. I, Excella Noah Aura, in my, my capacities, capacities as, as both a ranking officer and princess of the Great Lombardian Empire, have a proposal for Astorius King. Our country's long-standing conflict has proven itself a loss for both parties, protracted over such a length of time. I wish its end. Pursuant to our terms of armistice, we are prepared to withdraw our forces in full. Terms will be specified at a conference to be held between Astorian and Lombardian representatives. The attendees and location of this conference are conditional to several Lombardian interests. These conditions are as follows. First, the conference is to occur in the coral caves of the Sharian coast. Second, the Lombardian delegation will be led by its Princess Excella. And finally, the Astorian delegation will be led by its citizen of recent note, Yuma Ilvern. These are the conditions. Pursuant to the above, if both parties are able to reach a peace agreement, we are prepared to offer in reparation both of the world dragon souls currently in Imperial custody. I await the prudent decision of His Majesty, Excella Noah Aura, first Imperial Princess of the Lombardian Empire. The envoy also mentioned that the conference should take place in secret in order to avoid drawing undue attention. She also said that Yuma is free to bring whomever he pleases as ambassadors. I'm gonna go ahead and say what's on that letter in a whole lot fewer words. Empire's given up, aren't they? Right. Under such strange circumstances, too. If I were their commander, I'd be pressing my advantage, not sacrificing it. They've got, what, three dragon souls now? And they're willing to just give us two of them? Color me suspicious. I wonder why they requested Yuma to be our representative, though. Does this mean they're just after his radiance again? It's a strange way of going about it if they are. They just failed to take him. Or maybe this is because of that. Ugh, there's a lot to unpack. <sighs> I have no idea either, but... I'm leaning toward going along with it. Huh? But... I know it's dangerous. I know it's probably a trap. But... There's a chance, right? There's a chance I could end the war for good. If that's the case, I want to give Ixella the benefit of the doubt. I want to believe she really is proposing a peaceful solution. I'll admit, it's an attractive idea. Father, she said we're allowed to choose who we want to accompany Yuma, right? Yes, it would appear as much. Then there's no reason we shouldn't all go. Even if something were to happen, yeah. We can still protect Yuma together. Then it's decided, yeah? Your Majesty, send him our answer. We're going. Very well. I'll send a courier to Princess Excella with our official acceptance. And everyone, stay safe out there. Sweet. Huh, so she's finally working with us. I was waiting for that. About time. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, let's see how far is it. She says it goes. So, which? Oh my goodness, we're going go all the way over there. <clears throat> like, this way is faster, I think. Well, I guess I'll just meet you guys there. This is going to be a while. If there's anything, I'll cut it there. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in a bit.
Actually, there is something. <laughs> I just walk out of there. Come on. Your Highness, a messenger from Astoria has arrived. It looks like they're agreeing to parlay. I see. I suppose we should set out for these coral caves then. Are you sure, Your Highness? Can we really trust him? Who? The Dragon Slayer? Yes. Let's just say it's probably not the best idea to trust someone like that. He keeps too many secrets. I'd file Georg under secretive as well, you realize. In fact, he fits the definition far more than the Slayer does. <laughs> You're right. Just call me suspicious that he's not engaging in good faith. Well, yes. I find myself skeptical of the totality of Genus's claims, to be sure, but... I knew at least some of what he said would have genuine merit. So I'm taking it upon myself to sort truths from falsehoods. That is all. I see. I guess I can accept that. Just remember, if anything happens out there, I'll keep you safe, Your Highness. Hmm? Oh, enough. Your concern is appreciated, but unnecessary. You are a citizen of my father's empire, and I its crown princess. It's my duty to protect you, if anything. <laughs> By your command, then. I'll try not to put myself in... <sighs> undue danger. See that you don't. I do not care to entertain the thought of losing you. Now, let's be off. Hey! There we go. I'm here! Yeah, sure, let's do it. Hmm. Um... I drank some hot milk. <laughs> Uh Okay. Thank you. Sure, no problem. I'll see you again tomorrow. Sweet. <laughs> no anyone else? Let's see, now time for the guys. <laughs> well, Gina. Good day. <laughs> awesome. No, well, I know he always up for it. <laughs> I'm not surprised. What is it? Hmm. Something light. <laughs> Genus can cook. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, get me some food then. I need some Scooby Snacks. He's just gonna, be, gonna give me an apple, huh? <laughs> That'll be hilarious. Hmm, okay. I see. Okay, I see. Cool, let's do it. No problem, let's go. Let us continue this tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, who's next? I think Genus is our MVP right now. I mean, he's the one leading all of us. I mean, most of the fight, he just destroy everything, so... <laughs> it is so cheap. Um, if I didn't use it, I didn't, if I played the original, probably not as fun as Sorry. this, you know. Seriously? Yo. Okay, fine. State your business. 
Ah, awesome. What is it? Hmm, are you not involved them no. anymore? Oh, I see. Training, huh? Skip your training. I see. Yes. Going to town together, huh? Nope, not yet. I will hang out with you after I hang out with the genius or whoever next. But um, yeah, if you're next, let's go. I'm not sure you're gonna hang out with multiple people on the same day. You probably could. Yeah, so let's go. Let me save. I don't know. Wanna go for it? I'm going for it. I don't care. It's not like I, it's not like I was scared anyway, so let's kill it. <laughs> 79? I don't care. Crap, didn't hit it. Yeah, we are too OP, that's why I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> what? We didn't even take any damages. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Wait, what? Where are we going? Down? Okay, so here we are. Let's go say hi. Ixella. Hmm? Ah, Yuma Ilvern. Thank you for your attendance. I'm here just like you asked. Did you bring what you promised? Naturally. The souls of the Earth and Sky Dragons are nearby. Safe, I assure you. She's telling the truth. I can feel two World Dragon souls resounding. Then we have no further reason to delay. Shall we negotiate terms of armistice? Wait. I want to ask you something before we start. What is it? Why did you specify me? Are you just after the dragon again? Just so. I require the Shining Dragon's cooperation in a matter of some import, before I can agree to withdrawing troops. I knew it! If you're asking us to hand over Yuma, that's not gonna happen! Please, a moment's patience. I do not wish to use the Shining Dragon as a weapon of war, or against his will. I would pose you a question. I've heard the Shining Dragon's soul impart certain bodily changes to its host. Agelessness, for example. Agelessness? I wouldn't know about that, but... Genus did stop aging when he carried the Shining Dragon. Genus? I see. Then he spoke true after all. You and Genus met? The first move was his. He approached me claiming secret knowledge. A way to achieve my goals without relying upon the souls of dragons. So your conditions for withdrawing? I wish to borrow, on diplomatic basis only, the service of the Shining Dragon. With it, I might grant my father's dearest wish. An unaging body. Immortality for the Emperor. That's your price for withdrawing from Alfheim? No more, no less. In Alfheim itself, we have little interest. You what? The World Dragon Souls were the entire impetus for our operations here. If the Shining Dragon presents a less bloody avenue, I will explore it. There should be little issue with drawing the soldiers under my command once Yuma Ilvern's cooperation is assured. I accept your reasoning. 
But whether we agree on this is another matter entirely. Yes, their desires haven't changed. They still wish to use Yuma as a tool, and we don't have a guarantee he'll be returned safely. Ta! Even if this yarn she's spun about the Emperor is true, who knows what other stories she might concoct? Yeah, we don't know what they'll do to Yuma! What were you thinking, starting a war over something like that? For a single person's life, you're willing to sacrifice thousands? How many people have died over this? If you can't give me a good explanation for any of that, then I can't negotiate with you, let alone cooperate. As sovereign of a nation, the Emperor's life has value on a global scale. His health is the Empire's health. It's only arithmetic. Comparing military losses in Alfheim to domestic ones following the Emperor's death, infighting proved the more lethal scenario. So you just shunted all the losses onto Astoria? Onto Wellant? How many of their people are dead now? The regrettable and unavoidable nature of war. It's not something we wish for either. You can't just make platitudes and expect it to go away. I won't take that for an answer! <laughs> I come with an open hand, offering peace, terms of armistice. And still you refuse to understand. I will do what I must. Even if the fighting must continue, I will capture the Shining Dragon. What do you mean, capture? Last time you tried that, you failed! I rested on the powers of the Diva Magica like a crutch last we fought. I won't make that mistake again. This time, the first strike is mine. Shining Dragon, you will obey! So we do have to fight after all, huh? Well, I doubt she stood a chance anyway, so... <laughs> well, let's trash this party. <laughs> Everyone stand in front of us dies. I mean, I don't know what to say, but... We do so much damage. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is what happened when I level too much. Our thing stands a chance. Oh, Excella's going down. <laughs> Beatrice going down too. <laughs> oh, see ya. Look at that. We just murdered them like nothing. <laughs> the damage we're putting out? That's crazy. See ya. <laughs> Genius. Yes, right. Oh my goodness. Ugh. It's over. Or rather, it was hopeless from the start. His radiance answers to no one but Yuma. Not yet. I cannot give in. You're wounded. Just concede already. I must. If I fall here, the Emperor's wish. Give it a rest. There's no need to go that far, even if you are his daughter. Even if? How dare you! What? There's no if to be had. Or does royal blood forbid me from loving my family? While you wag your tongue in ignorance, father lays dying. <sighs> the Empire's stability, tenuous as it is, rests on his shoulders alone. Were he to pass, there'd be chaos, infighting, slaughter. I do not seek immortality for my own sake, but for my country's and for my people's. And more than that, I cannot watch him waste away, nor can I continue pretending all is well behind closed doors. How can I, knowing there are ways to stop it? My wise and gentle father, he is the only family I have. I will not lose him to this. I cannot. My father. It doesn't matter if, if he's an emperor or if I'm a princess. He, he is home, family. I cannot lose my... <laughs> Excella, like I said, 
I understand your father's life is important. Even still, that's not a reason to go to war. But if he's suffering, if he's in such bad shape that you're already lamenting him, that's a different story. Excella, I... Stop, Yuma. Leston, why? I admire your compassion. Master Elise would undoubtedly be proud of you. But you must understand, we are at war. You can't accept something at face value simply because a princess took the time to make a speech. How do you know this isn't a trap? He's right. Shed tears can be dangerous weapons all to themselves. But... You said it yourself, right? You have to accept her reasoning if you're gonna build any kind of conversation. I didn't hear you accepting much. Even so. Mm. Your Highness, you're not acting like yourself. Where's that cool, tough, ironclad princess I know, huh? <sighs> you're right, of course. Forgive my lapse. I let emotion dictate for me. See, there you go. There's a princess. Too bad, though. I was looking forward to comforting you in your time of need. <laughs> Still talking in circles. We really must work on that, you know. Is plain honesty truly that distasteful? Yes, it is. But I really was trying it on for size that time. Now, your highness. You ready to get back in there? Yes. I believe so. Thank you, Beatrice. Excella. It seems we are unable to reach an accord. Misfortunate indeed. We will, regardless, be withdrawing all troops as proposed. I trust this will serve as a sufficient first step toward reparations. What? When my good faith has been made clear, I will return to ask the Dragon's cooperation again. Are these acceptable terms, Yuma Ilvern? <sighs> what do you think, Sonya? <sighs> Regardless of her intent, if we can end hostilities for sure, it's worth considering. Welland could stand to consider it as well. Yuma? If we can end the fighting, that's reason enough. And if Excella's really sincere, I would like to help her and her father. I'm okay with the terms as they stand, but, uh, maybe we should run it by the king first. Agreed. We should report to father before we make a final decision. Your hesitation is understandable. Allow me to illustrate the extent of my devotion to this course. Those are... In the interest of good faith, I present to you both Dragon Souls in my possession. Earth and Sky... Yes. Please convey them to your King Albert. I would have him know my sincerity as well. All right. Astoria accepts them. From one heir to another, Excella. I'll make sure he knows. Maybe we can still salvage something positive. I've heard enough. What? Who's there? <laughs> so you finally showed up, huh? You certainly know how to make trouble for me, don't you? I'll be taking those dragon souls back into Beowulf's custody. You nearly ruined a plan decades in the making. Georg! You will stand down and know your place. I gave you no leave to interrupt our negotiations. Negotiations? Gave me leave? Watch your tone, you damn traitor. Traitor? What are you talking about? Don't feign ignorance. Confess! In your greed for the throne, you ordered an assassination. You had your father killed. What? Assassination? My father? Killed? 
Ridiculous! What are you even saying? Father killed! That cannot be! Come, come, Excella. I would say even someone of your station must answer for her crimes. But killing our dear Emperor... You've lost the right to claim yourself princess of anything now! You're a traitor and a heretic! Nothing more! Georg, what have you done? Murderer! I, I will not stand for... <laughs> you won't stand for what, exactly? You have no throne. Your own vassals are pursuing warrants for your arrest as we speak. You're nothing but a fugitive from judgment now! <laughs> you... Now then, I appear to have a wanted traitor before me. Shall I do my duty as a knight and cut you down? Wait, what's that sword? Now, hear my call and heed my summons! <laughs> Caliburn? What is Caliburn doing here? Caliburn! Your master Gyor commands you to kill that girl! Hell no! I'm gonna kill you instead! Caliburn, stop! Your master Excella commands you to stop! Poor old Caliburn can't hear you, my dear. Not the way you want him to. He heeds now only the call of Galahorn, the Dragon Imperator. Galahorn? The Dragon Imperator? Yes. I created it from the Dark Dragon's soul. It is an imitation of the Shining Dragon's own Vandal Horn. A crowning achievement, if I do say so myself. Yes, another masterpiece for Beowulf's arsenal. <laughs> Every time he creates something, I feel like it's trash. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, let's test it if it's really that good. <laughs> Caliburn, your quarries are the Dragon Ears and the Historian Princess. Now, Caliburn, kill! Kill them all! Leave none alive except for the Shining Dragon's vessel! Thy will be done. Bring it on. Let's see how this dragon stands. 61. Can't hit him. Get down here, noob. Well, this should work. Yeah, but how are we gonna hit it? You know what? You wanna play? Let's play! More. Red, more power. This is what I'm talking about. Let's see, where's our new bat? I still can't hit him. <laughs> Get down to the ground, move. Oh my goodness, 2000 damage? Look at that, we're too OP. Get down to the ground, noob. How much more health do you have? Um, let's trash this dude. <laughs> See ya! Burn it! <laughs> well, that's it! <laughs> I told you we're too OP by now. I mean... Nothing stands a chance. 
Oh my goodness. Oh. So even one of the twin blades wasn't enough to deter you? Caliburn laid low. But you seem to be struggling to keep up. <sighs> Not your concern! <laughs> Defiance, then. But will that be enough against me and my Galahorn? That's why you gathered the World Dragon souls? So you could make that sword? Galahorn is but a stepping stone on a greater path. The goal of our order has only ever been one thing. The resurrection of Almighty Deus. What? The combined energies of all five world dragons, brought to heal by the Dragon Imperator's absolute command over dragon kind. Together, they form the key to a door the Sanguine Church has sought to open for centuries. The seal upon Almighty Deus' grave. The seal was made by the very dragons Galahorn can command. With this, we can unmake it. Deus will live! But why? If you break the seal, the catastrophe... All those things the Shining Dragon told us about will happen again. If you can't see past collateral damage, you too are lost. Be silent now. It's time to put Galahorn to its first true test. I don't know if there's any tests at all, but... <laughs> He's still with me. I'm beginning to feel the drag. I don't believe I can fight much longer. It's getting hard to move. Come on, that was just a warm-up. Same here. This isn't good. <laughs> now, who's first? Who will feel the bite of Galahorn? Genus, you go first. <laughs> I will. Oh my god! <laughs> what? I was right. I knew it. What? I was just gassed. I was like, hey, Genus, you want to go first? <laughs> oh, you, the Dragon Slayer! Damn it all! You interfere now of all times! This is not the appointed hour. <laughs> it's perfect to let Genus talk to him because he talked too much and Genus talk doesn't talk a lot. What? You there, Will? M me? Leave the Night Sanguine to me. Take the others and run. But... why are you... Go! Your Highness, we're getting out of here, now! Right behind you! Let's go, but we should take another route. If they pursue Excella too, they'll have to divide themselves. Right. Oh, come on, I was, gotta, I was about to kick his ass. Piteous fool. Come then! No Galahorn's might first hand! You parried the Imperator? My turn now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dragon Slayer. Where are you drawing this power from? I could ask you the same. You've grown quite fearsome. All but a different man now. If that blade really is endowed with the Dark Dragon's blessing, it can only be resonance. Your soul and his, huh? Damn you! What do you stand to gain from this? Why are you getting in my way? We don't have to be enemies, you know. In fact, I believe I have something you want. And you have something I want, too. Something I want, eh? You heard me. Shall we strike a deal, you and I? It would benefit both of us far more than this pointless bloodshed. Sure, save it. <laughs> I was 
I was like, who's want to test it out first? Hmm, my first guess will be Genus. And he's like, and then he's like, oh, I'm here. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, seven. That's all you want. Why would you trade a world dragon's soul for the energy it's supposed to gather? You need the sea dragon's soul more than I do. I only want the energies of the sky, earth, and dark dragons. It seems a fair trade to me. Will you accept? Well, we certainly don't have anything to lose. Even if we gave you all the dragon energy in the three souls we have, as long as we retain the souls themselves, we can use them as crucibles to convert common dragon energy into world dragon energy. And we should have enough common energy to restore the amount you're asking. Almost as if you factored that into your proposal. You seem remarkably well versed in Draco dynamics. I'm afraid I don't understand. Why do you need the energy of the world dragons? I suppose you could say I'm trying to put my past behind me. Your past? Meaning? Less. <laughs> what it means is irrelevant. Exactly. Is yours. Accept or refuse. Or you'll die. <laughs> <laughs> True. I suppose I don't need to know your reasons. Fine, then. I accept your terms. Then we have a deal. It's no big deal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, well. I certainly didn't expect the sea dragon to fall into our laps. This genus. It could be problematic if he were to side against us. Oh, mustn't get bogged down in all these hypotheticals. We have new research material. Cause for celebration, I'd say. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I've got to get started on some adjustments for the Dragon Imperator. Good thinking. For now, we should focus on pushing our plans forward. The Church's prize is so close, I can almost taste it. Yes, exactly. Ah, I can hardly wait to see Deus with my own eyes. We're not there yet. We're still missing one final piece. And once the Dragon Imperator is ready, that piece will be mine. I don't care. Doesn't matter how powerful you get, we're gonna destroy you. <laughs> I think we're get to the point that this challenge, it's not even challenging anymore. Like, we just cut everything. <laughs> Unleash oh. Deus upon the world again? The story would be wiped <sighs> out. We'd have no chance against that calamity. Not just Astoria. What? If Deus's seal is broken, the catastrophe will spread across the entire world. The catastrophe? The Shining Dragon was telling me. If the catastrophe is unleashed, we'll see natural disasters, monsters, plagues. If that happens, it won't just be Astoria. Wellant and the Empire will be destroyed too. Hmm. I see your point. The last catastrophe was during Ragnarok. The world dragons were around to seal it away, but now they're gone. All we have left is the Shining Dragon. The dragon I carry with me. He's our last hope. I want to use the dragon's power to save the world. But I can't do it alone. So I'm begging you all, please, help me fight back. <sighs> Yuma, a bizarre role reversal, isn't it? You asking for our help, and you shall have it, Sir Yuma, Knight of the Shining Dragon. I hereby entrust the fate of this war to you and your sworn allies, the Dragoneers. My kingdom will offer any help you need. Call out, Yuma, and Astoria shall answer. 
Your Majesty. Wellant stands at your side as well. The High Elves left us a legacy and we will not fail them. Yuma, we'll always be with you. Thank you. Thank you all. Do you have some kind of plan, Yuma? It's a fine thing to say we're going to save the world, but where do we start? I'd like to hear what Genus has to say. He must have known this would happen. Maybe he's been guiding us all along. Yeah, he helped us get away from Georg. He might actually be one of the good guys. Uh, don't celebrate too early yet, I don't know. But Genus on our side is good, that's for sure. I don't know about him, the other one. But where can we find him? Any ideas, Agnum? Let's call him. <laughs> Just tax him. It's no big. <laughs> hey, don't ask me. It's not like I have poker nights with the guy. Seems like you do. We play pokers every night. I know you said he was hard to read, but if we don't know where or when he'll turn up, how do we find him? I might have an idea. Where do you think he'd be, brother? The village where he was born. You mean the one he destroyed? Uh, I figured he'd prefer to stay away after something like that. But we might still learn something about Genus there. Besides, the Shining Dragon said that's where the seal is. The one they used on Deus. It was the Shining Dragon's vessel before Genus. His Radiance's vessel? That seems worth investigating. It would do no harm to check. Then let's go. Lead the way, Liston. As you like. Sweet. Um, all right, let's go. I could go hang out with somebody. Did Gina say he want to go hang out again? I mean, I thought he did. Hmm, I don't see it. Now let's continue with the main story. It's okay. Do we heal? Yeah, we did. Oh yeah, swap back. Okay, cool. Let's continue with the main story. But I don't know where do we go. Oh, we gotta go all the way over there? Cool. <laughs> so far away. Uh, Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. This is Genus's home. Or it was. Once. Yes. It's just as Master Elise said. This place is nothing but ruins. <sighs> okay. We won't get anything done just standing around. We'd better get looking for this seal. Yeah, it's gotta be somewhere in the village, right? That's what the Shining Dragon said. Let's take a look around. Why do I get the feeling we have to fight him again? <laughs> I'm not surprised if that happens. Doesn't this matter who we're gonna fight. They're no match for us. Oh, there he is. Speaking of devil. Hmm? You? Why are you here? There you are. We were hoping we'd find you. My intuition was correct, then. Genus, we have to stop Georg from resurrecting Deus. Please, lend us your strength. I see. You'd prefer Deus remain sealed, then? Of course. Isn't that what you want? When did I say that? Huh? Deus's resurrection is the only way I can achieve what I've been striving for. Hell? So you're with Georg now, huh? I knew I sent something different. He does not project the same aura he did on our last meeting. I no longer sense the soul of the sea dragon on him anymore. What have you done with it? Ah, oh, that? I gave it to Georg. What? Why? So you're a church boy now, huh? Signed up with good old Georg? Oh, hold on, Agnum. 
Genus helped us escape from Georg, remember? That was then, Yuma. People change. If he's really on Georg's side, then we should take him out now. We gotta bring their strength down wherever we can. Their strength? Yes, indeed. Perhaps this is a chance for me to test you. How much power can you withstand? Um, as much as possible. If you can't survive a battle against me, then all of this has been for nothing. Now, show me what you can do. Huh, I will. Let's show him what our training's for. Begin. <laughs> well, our version is a lot better. Soothing. He's only 65. That might not be a challenge at after all. I have to step in. This should work. This is hilarious. <laughs> He's still using the same move as first met as we <laughs> Oh man. Don't get in my way. Is that all you got? Oh, we will win. That's a, it's a matter of time. See ya. So this is it. <laughs> Genius. Slave to the weak. Well. Yes. Good. I never imagined you could actually surpass me. Genus, why are you doing this? Why? I intend to end Ragnarok once and for all. What do you mean? Deus wasn't destroyed in Ragnarok, only sealed away. But that was only a momentary solution. I need something more decisive. I need the truth. I need the last song. The last song? Right. The Shining Dragon said something like that too. What do you mean by a decisive solution? Can this song defeat Deus? No. The last song is not a weapon. Then what is this last song supposed to achieve? It cannot be described in words. The last song is like a fading dream. If you try too hard to define it, it may disappear. But there is one more clue I can give you. You lack one crucial element needed to perform it. The seventh and final Dragoneer. The seventh? We have Sonia, Kirika, Rinna, Agnum, Leston, and me. That's six. Right. And we don't have any masterless harmonics left in storage. So where would the last... Yep. Standing right in front of you. Right? Maybe? I'm not you sure. You don't mean... Excel? Oh. Okay. Wait, I already have it. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I already have Excel. Correct. To reveal and perform the last song, we need all seven harmonics born from the body of the Shining Dragon. Along with their seven owners, the Dragoneers. Huh. I understand. But I feel like you still haven't explained something important. And that is? Before we fought, you said you had to resurrect Deus. What does that mean? Do you really want the world to end? The world's end. <laughs> Maybe some dark part of me does want to see it all gone. I can't deny it. It's crossed my mind before. Like an intrusive thought, whenever I see what's left of my home. You know that isn't... But still... Even a sad, violent, scarred world like this one deserves to be saved. <sighs> and now I put the question to you. Do you truly want to save this world? 
Of course. The world and everyone in it. No matter the cost. No matter what you must sacrifice. Whatever it takes. If you intend to save this world, you will have to fight for it. And unleash the full power of the Shining Dragon. But when that happens... No. Perhaps it's not my place to tell you. Dragon! Why are you still silent? Yuma deserves to hear this from you! You are the last of the world dragons. This is your duty! Genus? What are you talking about? You've certainly become strong. But Georg has not been sitting idle. Something tells me he's still hiding his true power. Stay on your guard. Well, goodbye. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. <sighs> there he goes again. Just delivers some smooth one-liner and takes off. But I think he was trying to tell us something important. I just... have no idea what it was. I cannot speak to his intentions, but it seems to be true. I believe he gave the Sea Dragon's soul to Georg. Then we need to get moving before Georg can do something terrible with it. Not much we can do unless we know where he is. The Commander's most likely location. My guess would be Fort Goral. Yes, but let's do some scouting first. We need to see if Georg's actually there and how heavily guarded the place is. I don't care how they guard it. I mean, anything, everything's gonna die. <laughs> I'm not even worried about what's gonna guard it or who is gonna be there. A sound plan. To Fort Garon, <clears throat> let us observe our enemy. All right. Yeah, let's go check it out. Sure, let's get some rest. All right. All right, let's get some rest. Get moving. Um, couldn't find anything. The control information. Okay. Good morning. Well, I'm not worried about if he's here. I mean, he's. Target confirmed. If he's here, I'll destroy him for sure. Nothing stands our way anymore. There were 50 mines. There's a knight over there. I can probably kill them both. Easily. But I don't want to fight him if I don't have to. I'm just conserve my strength. I'm not gonna waste my time fighting these little noobs when they're not even they're so weak. Well, that's, that's what Zeth says. Looks like security's <laughs> pretty tight. We can't Zeth was right. Here. No time to waste fighting weaklings. The traitor Excella is here! After her! Don't let her escape! Excella's gonna join us, huh? Your Highness, this way. Hurry! I'm coming. That's Beatrice and Excella. What are they doing here? What's going on? I have no idea. But we can't afford to be caught in more chaos. We should retreat for now. No, we should go help her. Wait, we can't just abandon them. I know how you must feel, Yuma. But we can hardly just charge in. No, I'll just charge in. I mean, that's no big yeah. deal. I guess you're right. Rina, brother, Yuma's right. We have to save her if we want her help. What? We know Excella is the seventh Dragoneer. Should we not strengthen our numbers for our confrontation with Georg? She is really strong. If there's a chance we could get her to join up with us, I think it's worth the risk to save her. 
If she join us, I think the game's broken. I mean, I already have one. <laughs> we get another one. Okay, yes. fine. I take your point. Then it's settled. Come on, Lady Kirika. Let's go help the princess. I wonder what happened if and she joins us. Too, since she's here. <laughs> oh my goodness. That way that means I have two of them? How does this work? Well, we'll know until we find out. Wait, why can't we get past that point? Huh? Wait, I have to take out these guards first? Fine, I'll take it out. It's not a problem. Well, this guy probably won't stand a chance. It doesn't really matter. Why do you think this dies? I mean... <laughs> Oh man. Nope, there's one. There's two. I think the game might wait make us to fight him, even though it's totally unnecessary. But I will do it. Sit down, noob. Look at the damages. Oh my goodness. There we go. Now can you let us in? The French toast. What? Um. Oh, we had to go back. Oh, guess killing them was totally pointless. <laughs> I thought you had supposed to kill them and then to go in, but I guess we just have to go somewhere else. Very well then. Saves us the trouble. Saves us the trouble. Target confirmed. Saves us the trouble. Interesting. Well, let's help them. I think he's gonna die, so... Well, let's cut this dragon. <laughs> Alright, time to heal. Wait, did the dragon get a potion or something? Who gives the... Well, let's cut them all. Somebody just gave that dragon a potion. Well, good thing I didn't kill it all the way and then it will start to heal. I'll be bad. Alright, time to trash this party. I like the first song because it gives you um, damage boost. I think the last one gives you... Um, I mean, the, the last one we have, so... It gives us... Um, it gives us a... Um, no, no AP cost, so... No actual point cost. That's good. Well, once you break, you're dead. <laughs> there we go. I like it use uh, the other one sometimes, but I just go with pure damage. So yeah. Well, if you don't have time to explain, then let me explain. Oh, that's decent yeah, amount of XP. Wait, where are we going? Hopefully, I'm going the right way because I'm not. Hey, there's a chest here. I think we go down. Yeah, we do. Right? Okay, on the right side. That's not the right side. Let's the go over there. 
The enemy is approaching. Target confirmed. We've been spotted. Is this the right way? I don't know. Might not be. That's the wrong way. Well, this is why it's one thing the about this map is just confusing. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. We've been Saves us the trouble. That is some weird map. I don't know. Let's just go. We're, we're there, so. I see. So you're here to kill Bjork as well. You too, huh? My father is dead because of him. I will not rest until the man dies by my hand. He had a lot to say about what's going on politically in the Empire right now. We'd like to find out how much of it is true. He took control of the Twin Swords of the Empire and made them attack the Emperor. Must have been his plan all along. Then he declared that Princess Excella was behind it, since the public thinks only she can control the Draco Machina. He allied with members of the royal family who fought my father ten years ago and denied my claim to the throne. Is that so? It beggars belief. Even the three spears have fallen under his control. I never imagined this could happen. What do you mean? My voice no longer reaches them. Seems like this dragon imperator thing lets Georg drown at her commands. So Georg now commands the three spears as well. That's less than ideal. I don't care what he commands. Everything dies, he commands. <laughs> then maybe you could join us. What? We both want to defeat Georg, right? Then our chances would be better if we worked together. Neither of us can do this alone. But I... I want to be the one to kill him. I deserve his death. No. No. I'm giving in to my own hatred. I cannot sacrifice my good judgment for a personal vendetta. I suppose it's more important that he be stopped for the greater good. Very well. You have my word. From here on, I fight with you. But can you truly accept my word? Until quite recently, I commanded the forces against you. I was your nemesis. I know we've been on opposing sides until now, but I feel like we can trust you. A bold claim. What makes you so sure? I could tell when you cried for your father. Your allegiance doesn't change the fact that you're sincere and selfless. I... I think so too. I mean, considering what happened, I was suspicious. But I think we can trust her. It's just... It's just that... Big surprise, you can't trust the Dark Elf who betrayed you, right? <laughs> hey. I don't mind. I'll get out of your hair. It's fine as long as I'm gone, right? Y yeah at least you finally realized it. <laughs> That's not how it worked. Rina. What? Lady Karika, don't look at me like that. What am I supposed to... We need to be honest with our feelings. Both of us. Mm. Beatrice, I want you to make me understand. Me and Lady Kirika. I never wanted to believe it. I still don't want to. I don't want to think of you as a traitor or a thief. So tell us what happened, in your own words. Make me see things your way, please. Like you used to. <sighs> Fine. If you want to know what happened, I'll tell you. That night, I found a thief that had snuck into the treasury, right where the harmonics were kept. I didn't think. I just rushed in there to defend the harmonics. But before the thief escaped, they set fire to the storehouse. I ran around trying to put out the fire, but a crowd gathered and... Well... The usual prejudices took care of the rest. You heard, I'm sure. The Dark Elf betrayed us. The Dark Elf tried to steal the harmonics. We can't trust their kind. <sighs> A woman can only take so many slurs and insults before she starts wondering why she stays around. I was sick of it. I just wanted to protect the harmonics. After all, 
My best friend was going to wield one of them someday. But I'm a dark elf. So instead, I get called traitor, liar, and thief. Why should I expect anything else? I couldn't live like that anymore. When I imagined enduring that kind of abuse for the rest of my life, I had to get out. So I pushed them back. They grabbed at me, but I broke free and ran. You know what happened after that? I stopped caring about what they said about me once I was gone. <sighs> well, you wanted the truth. And now you've heard it. Not like I have any proof to back it up. Kind of nice to get it all off my chest, though. Guess I should get going. Beatrice. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I hope you can offend your father. Wait. Erna? Th thank you for telling us. What? I knew. Deep down, I knew you'd never do anything like that. But... I was so afraid of trusting you. You just disappeared, and I didn't know who was telling the truth anymore. So I... I tried to suspect you. I really convinced myself that you meant to hurt us, but... Now that I've heard what happened, I... I believe you. I have to. Even if there's no proof, I know we were wrong. And I... And Lady Kirika, we... We love you! We'll never have another friend like you! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I was so cruel to you! Beatrice, I'm so sorry! And I... I believed in you, and yet I did nothing to speak in your defense. Please, Beatrice, forgive me. You too. <laughs> hey, come on. It's all in the past now. You don't have to beat yourselves up over it. But I'm glad I got to hear how you two actually felt. So, Lady Kirika, Rina, I just want to say thanks. It would seem you finally come to an understanding. Yeah. I guess everything turned out okay. Thanks to you, Princess. I don't see how I had any part in this. More importantly, Beatrice, if you wish it, you are free to leave my service. I imagine you'd prefer to catch up with your old friends. That does sound nice, but you can't get rid of me that easy. I'm not leaving you alone, Your Highness. I'm with you. I see. I thank you, Beatrice. I thought I had lost everything, but... I still have you. Of course, Your Highness. Until the end. Well, until you get sick of me anyway. Your Highness, look out! What? <laughs> uh, Beatrice! Beatrice, hold on! I'll treat your... Treating her would be pointless, I'm afraid. She's not going anywhere with a wound like that. Bjork, you bastard! So, the faithful lapdog dies to save its master. I'm sure we're all very touched. It would be a shame to have her lonely, though. Perhaps her master can join her. Trishula! Gaybolk! Grungnir! Come! <laughs> Kill them all. Kill all of them except the Shining Dragon. Leave him to me. The Dragon Imperator shall finish it. With the energy of the Final World Dragon, everything will be complete. Kill all but the Shining Dragon. Stop, please! Don't you recognize me? <sighs> what? 
What are you saying? You're the Draco Machina, aren't you? You're supposed to be... legends. Beatrice! She is your master. Princess... Excella. What kind of legend betrays their master? Hear my call! Kill her first! Kill the traitor, Excella! No! Georg is the traitor! You have to strike him down! <laughs> Three spears! I command you! Why don't you fight? You still don't see? Fool, they are not just the Three Spears. They are my friends! Prepare yourself, Georg. My vengeance has come! Wait, Your Highness. You have to go. We'll take him down. With us. Georg is our enemy. Behold, we are the Draco Machina! Together now. Let's end this! I am more than you shall ever be! Beatrice! You can't do this! Stop it! I beg you! Beatrice! Please! Excella! No! Don't! Is everyone all right? We're okay, but... Yeah. <clears throat> Damn, that got me good. That was... Even if they weren't at the center of the explosion, they'd be... <sighs> That's... Excella! Yuma, she's over there! You're right. Excella, hold on. We're coming to help! How is she? She's hurt. We have to help her. That was a hell of an explosion. Georg was right in the middle of it. There might not be anything left of him. Uh, Agnum. What? Beatrice and the Draco Machina were at the center of that too. Think about what you're saying. <laughs> oh man. Sorry. Kirika, Rena, I, I didn't mean. <laughs> uh, I know. What was that? Something exploded. Look, over there. Hmm. We've been spotted. No choice. Let's take the princess and run. Let's get back to our city, so let's make sure I check the right way. Alright, look at the map. And run. Because 
feel like I'm always going the wrong way. Let's They're level going. 70s? The enemy is approaching. Seems pretty weak to me. Wow, that file is crazy. Uh, it's over. <laughs> I doubt. I don't think it's over. I mean, it's not over until it's over, so... You know how it works in your RPG. Um, Saves us the trouble. Stand firm. I can fight them, but they're too weak. I'm not gonna waste my time fighting them. It's not even worth fighting. We're just gonna run all the way back. Man, it is foggy up here. What? I should I should save my game real quick. Just in case. You never know. I think there's one more chapter left. It could be more. I'm not sure. Um, I'm trying to wrap up this game. In the next, uh, hopefully next few episodes. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We're in the wrong way. Crap. Alright, let's get out of here. Is this the right way? I think it is. Wait, no, that's not. Wait, it is? Nope, I make the wrong turn, damn it. Game. I guess where the I guess the game tells you where to go, so. Alright, this way. Can barely see anything. <laughs> Plus the map is weird. Well that makes Yep, downtown. Emma, how's Excella doing? Oh, I'm afraid the poor thing's in bad shape. Her wounds were terrible. I see. She'll pull through, but it might be some time before she can move on her own again. Don't you worry, though. I'll stay and keep an eye on her. I guess we'll have to leave Excella in Emma's hands. We need to decide our next move. Indeed. We need to know where we go from here. But, Georg is... I mean, you saw what Beatrice did. He's gone now, isn't he? I don't know about that. <sighs> uh, sorry. It's alright. Beatrice... It hurt so much, but I'm sure she would have been happy that she beat Georg and helped Excella escape. Yes. Wherever she is now, I'm sure she's at peace. Truly, she did what none of us could. I guess we that's didn't the need end of to their sacrifice. Plan. They can't resurrect Deus anymore, right? I don't know about that. Georg may be gone, but the Empire's still around, and there's the Sanguine Church. Yoahim Zest? Yeah, that's true. Wonder what they're up to. They probably won't sit still for long. It'd be good if we could get some intel on them tomorrow. Yes, I agree. For now, we could all use some rest. <sighs> Kirika. She, she must, must be, going be going through, through so, so much. much. Dead, then. I suppose I couldn't expect otherwise, given the magnitude of the explosion. And the three spears, too. Utterly obliterated. What a terrible shame. I had so many more experiments to run. What are you complaining about now, Joachim? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just reflecting. Beatrice could have been an upgraded replacement for Ed. It would have been marvelous. But now she's dead and that's that. Now I'll never get to hear her screams. What a dreadful, dreadful waste. I must say, though, I am impressed. I suppose that's why you're the leader of the Disciples of Deus. 
A fine title for such a worthy heir. Oh, it was a sight to stir the spirit. Who else could emerge from that fray unscathed? Yes, just as I've inherited the legacy of the scholars of the will of Deus, you too are a successor most worthy of my aid. But all the power over all those generations still isn't enough to inherit Deus. We still need the Shining Dragon's energy. We cannot let it slip through our fingers. <clears throat> huh? That sounds like... Kirika. Yuma. I can't imagine what you're going through, since Beatrice... Yes. I always hoped that someday we could make amends. And I suppose we did, in the end. But now... Now she's... I had so much to tell her. This was supposed to be a new beginning for us. Now she's gone. I... I felt something like that when my mom died. It felt like I was being torn apart. I just wanted more time with her. I wanted to play with her, talk to her, even just live with her. <sighs> Our lives aren't ours alone. They belong to us, to the people we love, and to all the people in our future. I think that's the point of life, that it's precious to everyone we affect. Maybe the power of the Shining Dragon, everyone else's powers as Dragoneers, maybe that's why we have all that. To protect each other. To protect life. Perhaps you're right. We have a duty to keep this world safe, and all who call it home. Kirika, for Beatrice and everyone else, we can't give up. Yes. Together. We will fight. Hmm, a new song. I wonder what that can do. Well, there's only one way to find out. Unless we test it. Alright. Yep. Try not to run ahead. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Next time we come back, we'll continue the main story. Oh my goodness, we're too OP. I don't even know I want to go level up anymore. <laughs> if I do that, everything will get destroyed. I mean, destroyed. Okay, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time.